YouTube, Matthew here again, and today we got a huge model haul. We're going to get into it right away. We're going to talk prices, conditions, and all the models have for sale. First up, 57 Chevy Cameo. This one does come with a box right there. Um, yeah, uh, patina, nice detail. Um, any parts on this model that you do not see is in the box. So this, this kit has uh, zero uh, missing parts. Um, I hand did the patina myself. I did nice green interior. Um, not as realistic. A little paint job on the engine, but it's nice. It'll do. Just really, just continue the story, you know. It's a nice model. We don't need to change it as much as if you were going to. But any parts that you don't see are in the box, but with the model. I'm asking. Twelve bucks in this one is uh, the front wheels are loose. Uh, nice hand patina. Gloss coat my rear wheels accidentally, so they are a little sticky. It does come with bubble wrap if you want to pack it. Hub caps are painted over with flat backs, acrylic paint. Instructions are in nice condition. Interior not is is not beat up. All non visible parts are in box, and the box shows does show somewhere around the edges, around like there. Next up is my 1950 Chevy 3100 I have for sale. This one is going to be $20 firm. I don't want to go any lower than this. I feel it's worth it because I put a lot of detail into it, put a lot of hard work and effort. And it's a snap type, so you don't really see many of these. So I kind of would want to consider a rare, rare model. Um, I did lower the front or suspension. You can see there's a little bit of a smaller gap in the rear. Um, so, yeah, it's 20 bucks, 20 firm on this one. Excellent built model, no defects in glass. Modified chassis, lowered front. No box, no, there is a gas gap, sorry. There are no tail lights. Bed has super glue marks right here. Um, and the chassis and interior and great condition. Otherwise, this is a very well built model. I would recommend that it is worth buying just because it's a fun kit and you probably put some maybe just some wheels on it. You could add some paint to it. Just continue the story of the you know the fact that it's a hot rod and you know it's a cool car to it's a cool car to you know um, build you know. So twenty bucks in that one. Um, next is my forty eight Ford. F100 die cast. This one isn't as in good condition. The doors are all uh, jacked up. So is the glass. The other door too. Um, I am missing the screws for the doors, but the doors are there. Um, I'm asking twelve dollars on this one. I did a nice handmade patina uh, as a work truck. I hand painted the wheels on this one too. <clears throat> um, right here we got all the info. Um, yeah, that's some 12 bucks on this one. Um, there will be info about all these models in the description, so you won't miss anything. Yeah, 12 bucks on this one. And maybe this this model could probably be yours someday, too. Um, next is the 1976 Chevy Caprice, an AMT Riddle Pro Shop. Um, I did a nice paint job. This, um, I wouldn't personally touch the hood just because it's nice, nice paint. Um, I did not jack this one up except for the bullet hole. I made this one look like it went through a drive by. Um, this one I would recommend that you probably it would be nice if you continue your story. Maybe like put some rust on it or some dents in it. Overall, it's a well built model. I would recommend buying it if if you were me or if I were you. Um, box does show somewhere, um, overall, it's in, uh, good condition, the box is too, but around the corners and whatnot, there is somewhere, um, I'm missing 20 bucks on this one, 20 bucks on the Caprice, um, here is info for the Chevy. So, 
Yep. Right back to this one. Some things I'll point out is chassis is in great condition. Decals are never used. Instructions are nice. The body is not beat up. Um, there are some writing on cracks in the windows, just so you know. And this kit does not have any of the trailer parts. So, yes, you are getting just half the kit, but um, small build model does not have any of the trailer parts, so, and the box does have some wear. And it is definitely a well built model. Missing $20 on this one. So, yeah, 76 a piece. That's the info. And yeah. Next is the 1962 uh, <clears throat> Catalina. Um, right off the bat, you may notice all of the bandage right here. That's because the spindle broke. Um, so the pins are still. The pins are still stuck in the suspension, but everything is there, nothing's missing. I just have it taped up, but the wheel and tire still are, the spindle's in there too, so you're not missing the parts. It is there, so. Um, we had a nice uh, detailed race engine. Dude was running it so hard, he got some antifreeze leaks coming out of all coals. Um, I didn't, and I worked very hard on to get this look on the paint. I wouldn't recommend that you mess with it just because of how realistic it looks. I wrote some voodoo, there's some graffiti there. So if you were gonna buy it, you know, I'd obviously have no problem with you getting rid of that. Um, overall, it is a well-built model. A lot of detail and effort into it. And yeah, um, this is info for the Pontiac. It is a complete kit, broken off wheel, like I was saying, the spindle is uh, broken off. Uh, the decals in good condition, they are never used, special paint job is what I said, markings on trunk, Dremel's real wheels, achieving a rust look, rust look went wrong, but you can either patch it up with some putty, or just continue the, the rust look. Um, the box is in great condition. As you see, there's not many much wear. I mean, you got a little thing right there. Um, the glass has no damage, and the instruction manual is in good condition. I think 25 for this one is because of the uh, labor I put into it. Yes, it is broken, but there is more labor in this one than there is in the Caprice. So, 25 bucks on the Catalina. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoy this model. Maybe it could be yours someday. Um, next is a, uh, I believe it's um, mid 30s Ford diecast. Um, I painted. It's not very good, but I did repaint the top. It's going for a hot rod look. Um, and there's still the original blue right there. Um, I am missing the engine. I'm missing the hood too. But oh no. Uh, all the suspension is here. I like the arms and the axle and the wheels and whatnot. It's gonna be screw, so chassis is right basically in this bag. I'm asking twelve dollars for it. Uh, let me find the info for this one. Um right here I got twelve bucks on it. Top body Top of the body is repainted, missing engine, body interior in good condition, chassis as well. No missing parts otherwise. Missing 12 blocks on this one. Um, next, is not a very well built kit at all. As you, right off the bat, you can see how bad this is. Um, this thing is drenched. Not drenched, but, you know, super, there's super glue on it. Total junker right here. You can still salvage a chassis. Overall, there's no harmful bodily damage. You can still salvage most of this kit. Um, overall, yeah, there's a nice kit, no over horrible damage. All the parts will stay intact except, except the glass. Um, give me one moment. You can find the info for this one. Don't think I have it written down. But I'm asking uh, t 10 bucks uh, on this one, or best offer. I'm willing to go lower just because of the condition that it's in. 